How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at the best VPN for low ping gaming. Now we have a few VPNs here, Express, Nord and Surfshark. If you're interested in any of these, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. Feel free to take advantage of those as they may not be available in the uh, original websites. So ideally, you don't really want to use a VPN really when it comes to gaming. Okay, it's going to drop your ping. And if you know if you don't if you're not having any sort of particular issues uh with your uh, gaming experience for whatever reason you don't really have to be using a vpn but there are some vpns for example like express nord and surfshark that provide you with a low enough ping that you know it's actually playable you can actually play games using a vpn uh so there's not much issue there especially with consistent very consistent um, VPNs, quality VPNs like ExpressVPN and Nord. Um, while Surfshark might be a great alternative if you want, if you want to kind of uh, not really compromise on any kind of quality or consistency, you want to go with Nord and Express. But that doesn't mean that Surfshark is not a great option, and you'll see in just a second. I'll be showing you guys a, a couple of ping tests, and you'll see for yourselves that these 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 are all great VPNs, and it just depends on. What are you looking for in a VPN? Now, again, ideally you don't want to use a VPN when it comes to gaming, but some games could be banned in a lot of countries. You know, countries like like China, Turkey, uh, uh, maybe maybe some countries in the Middle East as well. Uh, they ban a bunch of games like PUBG, I think uh, possibly Warzone, and a few other BR games, and you know maybe some other countries. Maybe some games are actually uh, region locked. You know. Uh, Black Desert Online used to be region locked. So if there's some kind of like other game that you're trying to play but isn't available in your own region, you could use a VPN to play it to play that game. Um, maybe you want to access markets. You know that's another uh, reason you want to access uh, foreign markets to get discounts on games. So there are quite a few reasons you could um, use a VPN when it comes to gaming, not just actually gaming. You know. But if you want to game using a VPN, uh, these three VPNs are absolutely great. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to connect to the same country and show you guys the results. Okay, usually I do get, you know, when I do play games, when I connect to a server, let's say I'm playing on Warzone. Okay, I'm playing Call of Duty or Rainbow Six or anything like that. I'm connecting to the, my, the nearest servers and that's going to be the European servers. So, you know, my ping would average are at about you know, between 50 and 60 at worst, really. Uh, so, which is pretty playable, really. 50 ping is fine. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. You know, I'm located in Lebanon and I don't, I don't really have the, uh, I don't really have any kind of game servers near me. So usually I just play with the European crowd and it's actually pretty playable for the most part, really. I'm not really playing any, anything competitive, so it's fine. I mean, if I can play Tekken online, which requires the most amount of reflexes and, and quick reactions, I can play first person shooters. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to connect using OpenVPN. When it comes to Express, their lightweight protocol is great for streaming. And, uh, okay, when it comes to differences between these uh, VPNs and priorities and kind of... Uh, you know, depending on your own priorities and situation, you might want to pick one over the other, you know, depending on your budget and so on and so forth. I'll talk about it at the end of the video, but I just want to show you guys kind of the uh, ping results and what, what, what we could actually get from, from these uh, VPNs in terms of ping, really. Um, so usually I do get great um, connection or great ping with Paris One, the Paris One server. And I'll be using the uh, French server across the board here in Nord and Surfshark as well. But when it comes to protocols, I'm going to be using OpenVPN because Lightway, while it may be quick, it's not actually as quick as OpenVPN, or at least not yet. This is ExpressVPN's Lightway, uh, I mean, a um, WireGuard based protocol. So yeah, um, it, it's not actually as impressive as Nord or Surfshark's Wire, WireGuard protocols. So I'm going to be using OpenVPN to keep up with Nord and Surfshark. Uh, however, keep in mind that OpenVPN is the most secure protocol uh, known so far. So uh, yeah, until we uh, get a few upgrades in terms of security on <coughs> on the uh, WireGuard-based protocols across the board, on all the VPNs, 
I'll be using OpenVPN for security. But I'm not really using it for security in Express. I'm just using it for speed because it's just faster. But just telling you that it is actually more secure. So I'm going to connect to France Paris. Um, and I'm going to hit Ookla here. Okay, I'm going to refresh and go. So if you're looking for generally a more secure kind of uh, VPN, you're going to want to go with Express. Express is really the most secure kind of, in terms of no locks policy and, and, and uh, you know, the anonymity that, that they provide is really sort of the best in the industry. Uh, if we're talking VPNs, uh, there are other ways to hide your IP address and, and be more anonymous, like using a Tor browser and stuff like that. But when it comes to just using VPNs, they really don't log anything. So I got 56 ping here, okay? So I'm going to refresh just to show you guys that, you know, it's it'll differ it'll differ you know depending on the <clears throat> uh, depending on the optimal server that ukla finds here now you might game and get lower ping uh you might get higher ping depending you know on 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 the uh, game servers you're connecting to but just showing you generally uh what the results are like so you know 55 56 and that's just the you know that's uh that's the results here so and 11.21 for downloads. And I'm, I'm gonna let this finish so that, uh, because if I turn it off, it's gonna give me an error. I wanna keep this for record so I can uh, show it to you guys later uh, and compare it with the other VPNs. So, you know, we have an average of 55 ping here, right? So this is pretty playable, not bad at all, okay? Um, I'm going to disconnect and connect to the French server right here. Where, right here. Right. Where's the French server? There we go. So the French server in NordVPN. And for NordVPN, I'm gonna be using the fastest protocol here, which is going to be NordLynx. NordLynx is their WireGuard based protocol. Uh, not as secure as OpenVPN, but we're not talking security today. We're talking ping. So I'm gonna give it a go. And I'm going to refresh it twice every time. So, okay, the first time I got 56. I'm gonna refresh it one more time and see what we get the next time um, for Nord. And Nord is the kind of a VPN you wanna get if you are um, if you have a bit of a lower budget and you don't wanna really sacrifice on quality. Oh, so this time we got actually 58 ping. That's very interesting. Um, if you don't wanna sacrifice on much quality and you still wanna kind of get a VPN that has a lot of features, <coughs> including peer-to-peer -peer servers, custom DNS, dedicated IP, but only with uh, open VPN, split tunneling and kill switch, and you know, the, 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 the whole, uh, the whole kind of uh, features, the, the bunch of features that you get with premium VPNs, except that NordVPN gives you a couple of extra features. Whereas ExpressVPN might be a little bit more basic, but they're focusing on the best performance that you can get. You know, you still get a kill switch, you still get split tunneling, and you get this option where, you know, only use uh, ExpressVPN DNS servers while connected, which kind of forces the ExpressVPN DNS onto your device so that it prevents any data from leaking and it enhances performance, of course. So yeah, that's kind of their own uh, uh, security measure slash obfuscation uh, uh, sort of guarantee. So we get 50, so first time we got 56, now we got 58 for Nord. Uh, now I'm going to show you what we're going to get. Let, let me disconnect here from Nord. And this is kind of going to reflect the same uh, when it comes to gaming. So we're going to be using the WireGuard protocol. And yeah, we're good. Locations, connect to Paris. And give it a go again to be fair i'm going to give it a couple of refreshes first time we're going to get 56 the second time we will be getting i suspect we'll get even lower 53 there you go see now surfshark is actually surprisingly great when it comes to uh kind of providing you good, good ping their wire guard protocol is very very impressive so if you're looking for the ultimate kind of budget VPN, Surfshark is absolutely great because Surfshark is going to 
cost you a fraction of what uh, ExpressVPN and NordVPN cost, it could be at times, it could be slower actually. But in this case, ExpressVPN gave us the slowest speed because it's we're not using a WireGuard protocol. But again, if your priority is top, top security, security and just uh, the best encryption in the industry, you're gonna wanna go with ExpressVPN. If your priority is having a bunch of features while paying a little less, and by the way, you can only uh, secure five devices per, uh, per subscription with Express. That'll be six devices with Nord and Surfshark, which I think is their ultimate selling point really, is unlimited devices. You can secure an unlimited amount of devices with one subscription, which is great really. So uh, that's that's just great for people that want a, uh, a great, VPN that really just does the job and has a lot of uh, has a lot packed into it. Really, you you still get double VPN, which is multi hop. You get static IP. You get a kill switch. You get split tunneling. A an 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 ad blocker. A no borders mode, and an extra protocol here for security, which is the shadow socks. Uh, excuse me, in advance, which is the shadow socks uh, protocol. Uh, which you can combine with no borders mode if you're living in a, a strict country like china for example or something like that so yeah that'll give you extra obfuscation and uh yeah so here are the results which you know you've got 53 ping with um, surfshark 58 with nord surprisingly i thought it'd give us a little bit better but yeah, there are a lot of days it could give you like 55 56 and it's the same with uh, express vpn by the way you still you can still get 53 52 54 at times it also depends on the server you're connecting to so uh here when i do the refresh when i refresh on ukla it's actually switching server. So check it out. Here we're in uh, Nate Ways. This is the server. And here it's uh, Networth Telecom. And here it's S S S Roy Riona, something like that. So every time these are all different servers. So you know it could have just happened that. Uh, that this server it happens to be maybe the 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 closest to me or, or or the most optimal or the one with the least load so you know you have to kind of keep that in mind as well but as you can see these are all great vpns for gaming while using the vpn while keeping it on so while it may drop your uh vpn for me for example this is already the ping that i get this is the, when, when I'm gaming on Rainbow Six or something like that. I'm not getting like five MS uh, when, when, when gaming. This is already the kind of ping that I'm getting. So these VPNs are really just raising my ping by like one or two or three or at worst five or six MS in Nord's case here. So it's really not that big of a deal, especially if you're not like playing competitively. You just want to get access to a game and, you know, move on with uh, playing your games, really. So, yeah, that, that'll be it. Uh, again, uh, to kind of uh, reiterate, if your priority is utmost security, uh, you know, go with Express. It's a premium service, comes with a premium pricing with premium pricing. Nord comes with a bunch of extra features with a few uh, bucks, uh, kind of, you're saving a few bucks uh, monthly with their with their two year plan. That The problem is you have to stick with the two year plan with Nord. If you don't wanna stick with the two year plan, yeah, Express just gives you that one year plan, as well as Surfshark. You know, if you wanna get the cheap, the really cheap uh, kind of service, you have to stick with the two year plan or three year plan in this case, I think. Uh, it depends on which, uh, you know, whatever offers they have going on at the moment. So yeah, uh, overall, they're all great VPNs. And uh, again, uh, Nord will give you a bunch of extra features and, and just great quality. Uh, Surfshark is the ultimate budget VPN if you're interested in just getting the job done with, you know, uh, questionable no locks policy, uh, to say the least. So in terms of security, uh, I would definitely rank uh, Express uh, at the top, then Nord, then Surfshark. But when it comes to performance, you know, if we're talking solely ping, 
it's kind of, you know, it's, it's in between Express and uh, Surfshark. If we're using OpenVPN and Express and WireGuard and Surfshark. If I use OpenVPN and Surfshark, it's not going to give me that great of uh, results. But with uh, WireGuard protocol, it really makes the difference. <coughs> so, yeah, in terms of speed, though, Express and Nord are going to be the most consistent when it comes to speed, especially if you're using OpenVPN protocols. Uh, so yeah, that'll be it for this video. I hope it helped you one way or another. If you're interested in any of these VPNs, make sure to check the description down below. I'll be sure to include some offers and special deals to help you guys maybe save some more money, hopefully. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.